6 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. News read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The Prime Minister has called for devising a strategy to acquire self-sufficiency in agricultural produce. Shahbaz Sharif has welcomed the signing of historic agreement between Saudi Arabia and Iran for the resumption of diplomatic relations. The planning minister has emphasized on continuity of policies to carry forward the country towards fast-paced development. The All Parties Hurit Conference says India's intransigence on Kashmir dispute endangers the peace of entire South Asia. Defense analysts say the recurrent incidents of uranium theft and smuggling in India highlight the alarming poor security arrangement of the Indian nuclear program. In the Pakistan Super League Season 8, Quetta Gladiators will take on Multan Sultans in Rawalpindi today. And now the news in detail. The Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has called for devising a strategy to acquire self-sufficiency in agricultural produce and address the country's economic crises. Chairing a meeting in Lahore today, he directed the authorities concerned to devise a comprehensive mechanism in order to resolve the issues related to food chain and ease the access of agricultural produce to the general public. In order to bring betterment in the agriculture sector, the Prime Minister asked to complete work on agricultural reforms at the earliest and activates the role of agricultural research institutions at the federal and the provincial levels, expressing displeasure over the import of crops despite having the status of being an agriculture country, Shahbaz Sharif directed to provide quality seeds to farmers by ensuring transparency and effectiveness in the seed certification process in order to gain bumper cotton crops. The Prime Minister directed the authorities concerned to take immediate and long-term measures from now in this regard. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has welcomed the signing of historic agreement between Saudi Arabia and Iran for the resumption of diplomatic relations. In a tweet today, he said China mediated deal augurs well for peace, stability and economic development in the Middle East and the Muslim world. He said it shows that with collective wisdom, win-win outcomes are possible. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has criticized the Pakistan Tariq Insaf Chairman Imran Khan for writing on the streets and derailing his own International Monetary Fund program. In a statement today, the Prime Minister said Imran Khan is avoiding appearing before the courts because he is a criminal. He said in the past, Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz leaders have faced false drug cases and his family members also appeared before the courts in fake cases. Candidates for the Punjab Assembly election can file their nomination papers with the returning officers from tomorrow till Tuesday next. Names of nominated candidates will be published on the 15th of this month, while scrutiny process of nomination papers will continue till the 22nd. Appeals can be filed against the rejection or acceptance of nomination papers till the 27th of this month. The Appellate Tribunal will decide the appeals till the 3rd of next month, while the revised list of candidates will be published on the 4th. Candidates may withdraw their nomination papers on the 5th of next month, while the final revised list of candidates will be published on the same day. Election symbols will be allotted to the contesting candidates on the 6th of next month, while polling will be held on the 30th of next month. The caretaker Punjab chief minister has rejected as baseless the allegation being leveled against him on social media in connection with the death of a Pakistan Tariq and South worker. Addressing a news conference along with the Inspector General Punjab Police Usman Anwar in Lahore today, he said PTI worker died in a road accident, not due to police torture. The caretaker chief minister said social media is being used to spread disinformation about the incident through fake audio and videos. Speaking on the occasion, the, the, the Inspector General Police Punjab said the vehicle which 
Head the Pakistan Tariq and Saf worker belonged to PTI local leader Raja Shakil and the same vehicle dropped the dead body at the hospital. He said with the help of 31 closed circuit television cameras, the vehicle and the concerned persons involved have been taken into custody and will be presented before the court on Monday. He assured to provide justice to the father of the deceased Pakistan Tariq and Saf worker. This is Radio Pakistan. The Minister for Planning and Development, Asan Iqbal, says continuity of policies is of vital importance to carry forward the country towards fast-paced development. Addressing a ceremony in Lahore today, he said the government is striving hard to put the country on the path of sustainable development with the help of its prudent policies. The National Disaster Management Authority dispatched the first special relief cargo flight from Lahore for the earthquake victims of Turkey. It contained 1,200 winterized family tents. The National Disaster Management Authority spokesperson said the authority will operate 34 special flights to Turkey, which will continue till the 23rd of this month. The Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has discussed a broad range of issues with the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres, including Afghanistan, during a meeting at the United Nations headquarters in New York. According to a press release issued by the Pakistan Mission, the Foreign Minister expressed concern on the situation in Afghanistan and outlined Pakistan's efforts to facilitate humanitarian assistance and promote stability. The United Nations chief deeply appreciated Pakistan's role as the chair of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and lauded Pakistan's decades-long hosting of Afghan refugees. In the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Parties Hurit Conference has said India's intransigence on the Kashmir dispute has endangered the peace of entire South Asian region. In a statement in Sirinagar, the APHC spokesman strongly denounced the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir's Hindutva Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha's baseless claim that Azad Kashmir is an integral part of India. He said the entire Jammu and Kashmir is a United Nations mandated disputed territory or its future is to be decided by Kashmiri people through a plebiscite supervised by the world body. The member of the British Parliament, Lord Qurban Hussain, has raised the plight of the women of the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, particularly those languishing in different Indian jails, taking part in a debate in the British Parliament in connection with the International Women's Day. He said the women of the region under foreign occupation, including Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, are facing detentions, physical torture, verbal abuse, harassment, rape and murder at the hands of the occupation forces. He said the Indian authorities have lodged the Kashmiri women leaders like Asiya and the Rabi Farida Bahenji, Nahida Nasreen in jails far away from their houses to victimize them for their role in the ongoing Kashmir freedom movement. Renowned American newspaper, the New York Times, says the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Hindutva chauvinist movement, which has normalized intolerance and violence against Indian Muslims, has put severe pressure on India's press. The executive editor of the Kashmir Times, Anuradha Bhasin, in her essay published in New York Times, says the journalists are being surveilled and jailed in India and Modi-led government is using strong-arm tactics against media outlets to ensure favorable coverage. The recurrent incidents of uranium theft and smuggling in India have highlighted the alarming poor security arrangement of the Indian nuclear program in a report released by the Pakistan-based Center for Strategic and Contemporary Research Defense Analysts said the theft of nuclear material over the last two decades in India posed a serious threat of nuclear terrorism, necessitating action by the global powers to address the poor safety standards in the country. Defense analysts said a number of uranium substance theft incidents in the recent past occurred in India, which indicated the presence of a black market for nuclear materials inside India. 
Two Palestinians have been martyred in different incidents in the occupied West Bank. O according to Palestinian health officials, the Palestinian teenager was martyred by Israeli settler, while the other was martyred when Israeli soldiers opened fire on him near the city of Kalkilia. Cricket. The 28th match of the Pakistan Super League Season 8 will be played between Quetta Gladiators and Multan Sultans at Travel Pindi today. The match will start at 7 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather report. Mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country, while hot conditions are likely in the plain areas during the next 12 hours. However, rain is expected at isolated places in Upper Khabar Pakhtunkhwa and Gilgit Baltistan. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.